Uh, if we want to grow our economy in the state of Connecticut, if we want to get small business people to create new jobs, and somewhere between 80 to 90 percent of all new jobs created in the state of Connecticut are small business jobs. Uh, if we want people to put their capital at risk and try to start a new business, uh, if we want, which is even more important, to get the businesses we already have here to grow and expand. A lot of people talk about, you know, can we, can we get someone to move from New York? Can we get someone to, you know, move from Massachusetts? Maybe Connecticut's friendlier than those uh, states. The reality is we're going to grow our economy not by trying to get someone to move from another state, <coughs> by taking the people we have here and letting them grow and expand. And the reality is over the last decade to, ten, to two decades, people have actually been leaving the state of Connecticut. Whether it's Pitney Bowes or Xerox and some of our larger corporations, you know, they don't do press conferences and they don't cut ribbons. Uh, but every year there's, you know, 20 employees here, a unit there, 50 employees there, UTC moving 1,000 jobs down to Georgia. Uh, Connecticut companies have been uh, losing jobs and losing employees. And just to highlight that, when UTC announced that 1,000 employees would move to Georgia, uh, Governor Rell met with uh, UTC uh, president, CEOs, their board, I don't know, but a lot of people there, uh, and, and met with her economic policy team in Connecticut uh, and put together a $100 million tax incentive package to UTC over five years, $20 million a year. Uh, and UTC said, uh, we'll still benefit to the tune of $50 million or more a year by being in Georgia. Um, another example uh, is that there was a, a gun manufacturer, I've forgotten the name of the company, uh, in uh, the New Haven area. I think they were in North Haven or North Brantford. Marlin. Marlin Firearms, thank you very much. Uh, Marlin Firearms closed down their factory and moved down south, I think to North Carolina. Uh, a group of us met with uh, the president and others at Marlin Firearms. But we actually thought that they were going out of business. Uh, and we were surprised to learn that not only are they not going out of business, but they're moving down to North Carolina to expand their business because it's booming. They couldn't, they couldn't bear the cost of doing business, especially the electricity costs uh, in the state of Connecticut. And they moved despite saying to us that the workers we have here in Connecticut are the best we could ever imagine getting. Uh, and that is our great strength here in Connecticut, is that we have a tremendously skilled and well-educated workforce. Um, and yet, despite that, uh, we continue to see uh, companies move jobs or move in total uh, down to other states. Um, and, and last point, those, uh, those other states, they all recruit in Connecticut. They all recruit in Connecticut. You talk to someone from a legislator from Virginia, you talk to someone from North Carolina, you talk to someone from any point south, uh, talk to businesses in Connecticut, and they will tell you that their chambers of Congress, their business people, their state governments are up in Connecticut, and they put together presentations just like this. And it says, one side, cost of doing business in Connecticut, the other side, cost of doing business in our state. And in all instances, it's lower. Uh, and that's happening in the real world. We're competing against 49 other states. We're competing against Mexico, China, the entire world. Uh, and unless we're going to start doing things differently, we're going to continue to lose jobs and see businesses and people leave the state of Connecticut. So with that, I've actually talked longer uh, than I intended to. Uh, I tend to do that a lot, so I apologize.